University Heights residents are checking their surveillance cameras today after multiple windows were smashed and car tires slashed. Police tell Color 10 the damage could have been caused by the same people who vandalized multiple vehicles earlier this month in Central Springfield. Color 10's Carissa Codell has been speaking with neighbors. She's live tonight in University Heights. And this street here saw the worst of the damage with multiple homes in a row having their car tires slashed. Just a few houses up there were reports of windows being broken or damaged by rocks. Now neighbors that I spoke to who have been living here for years say they can't remember something like this happening in the past. This um, pointless vandalism is kind of a new thing. This kind of thing never happens in this neighborhood. We don't have crime here. Police tell me these reports are similar to last week when vandals slash tires in central Springfield neighborhoods. In the past uh, couple of days, we've received several reports of uh, vehicles as well as other property being damaged. Jim Caffey has lived in University Heights for two years. He thinks police should patrol the neighborhoods of Springfield more often. It gives you a sense that, that your security is gone. Um, I immediately got up and made sure my light was on. It makes me angry because all these neighbors are people that we know and, and care about. David Catlin lives across the street from where multiple cars in a row were vandalized. We don't park out front though, and I suspect if we did, we might be telling a different story. Police say the best way to protect your property is by having video cameras or keeping the lights on outside. People with ill intent tend to avoid well-lit areas that don't have, you know, shadows that you can hide in. Driving around University Heights, we only saw a few cameras and motion sensor lights. What we're really looking for from the public is good video of someone committing one of these crimes. And the University Heights president tells me even before all of this happened, they were working on establishing a neighborhood watch. She tells me now more than ever, that is a top priority. Reporting live in Springfield, I'm Carissa Codell, Color 10 News.